This is our 22nd Refreshing Waters renewal. And the purpose for these um, gatherings is to clarify the nature and content of the gospel of Christ. We have a great deal of confidence in the constraining power of the gospel. That if you can really see what God has done for you in Christ, he will supply all the incentive that's required for you to perfect holiness in the fear of God and to be ready when Christ comes. And that, of course, is our target. It's for you to be ready when the trump is sounded at the shout of the great archangel and the Lord descends from heaven to gather us unto himself. If you're ready for that day, you haven't lived in vain. If you aren't, you've lived a wasted life. For the purpose of this particular renewal is to expound the accomplishments that Christ has, the things Christ has accomplished for us. There are things we couldn't do ourselves, but they had to be done. If men were going to be saved, these things had to be done, but they exceeded our capacities and our strength. And so God in his infinite wisdom and as a display of his great magnanimous love, he gave us a savior who could do it all who was able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. Now, there'll be several sermons on this subject from different angles. It's our desire that they will all fit together. I would remind the speakers to labor to do this. As you preach, don't just preach for yourself. Of course, if you're speaking the truth, it, we understand it will fit together. But when you see it fitting together, it just uh, it helps a lot. <laughs> Our first speaker is going to be Brother Gene Hutzcraft. He has been a minister of the word for 30-some years, right? Close to 40 years. He's a member of the Word of Truth Fellowship and is in the preaching rotation there. He supplies some insights that are very necessary. He has seen things in his devotion to Christ that he didn't see before. And he is, as you will find, quite willing to proclaim it. To be ministering on this truth, he was bruised for our iniquities. Our dear Heavenly Father, we commit now, Brother Gene, to your care. He stands to minister to us. We pray that you would empower him to speak with power and insight and for us to hear with attentiveness and godly fear and faith. May this be a time when many fresh insights are realized by us all. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.